What is going on, everybody? Depraved Slash here. We are back with another music reaction. I'm Depraved. I'm Hellcat. And together we are... Hella Depraved. Yes, we are. So the homie T-Rev dropped his own song on the same day that Koofy dropped Start at War. Okay. Um, we'd already recorded our reaction to Start at War the day before. And since this came out on a Friday, we... Don't record on the weekends. Don't record on the weekends. Okay. So we're just now getting to it. Okay, um, I was, however, at the premiere. I had it muted and was pretty much talking shit. The whole time without hearing it. The whole time. Not like about the song. Right. But Just I kept, your normal... I, the normal goofiness of right. like, Rev, your battery's running low. And right. silly shit like that. That's what I do. <laughs> That's what I do. If any of my friends at this point have learned to not take me seriously... That's a good thing. If they've learned to not take you seriously. I said if none of my friends have learned... To not take me seriously. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just saying. That's what I do. Right. Uh, but I'm super stoked for this. So this is featuring J.J. Hughes, who I don't know if I've heard before or not. I recognize the name from somewhere. I do too. Um, but this is called Sticking Up the Game. All right. And the one thing I do know, A, from the video, and B, Rev talked to us about it. This is the video he shot that's supposed to be similar to, I believe, Breaking Bad. With the whole RV and... Okay. Yeah, you know about as much as I do about Breaking Bad, which is absolutely nothing. Other than the fact that it was filmed in Albuquerque, real close to where I was living before I moved out here. Not much. So, with that being said, we're going to react to this if you guys have already seen it. If not, click the link in the description below, hop on over, do all the things coming back, and we say that because we're a commentary comedy breakdown channel. What that means, reaction channel, what that means is we are going to pause for Be any prepared. or all of the above. You ready? Yep. I'm Y'all ready. ready? You ready? Oh, there's Y'all ready okay. for this? All right, let's get it. T-Rev, JJ Hughes, taking up the game, because I don't think I said that. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we got about uh, five minutes left on this cook. We done there here in a minute, okay? Damn, making beats is killing it. I stay riding, never ducking. I put in work, talk shit, you got no substance. You hate on everything I do, that's why you're stuck in that box. I'm nobody that you wanna fuck with. Bro looking scruffy as fuck. I know. Got no substance. I don't know, I saw a whole plate full of shit there. That's a lot of substance. That's a lot of substance. <laughs> that was the first thing I thought. I was like, "Wow, so add some scrub." <laughs> if I remember, if I remember correctly, this was recorded not long before they came to visit. Okay. Um, and he had just gotten a haircut. I think it was like either the day of or the day before they came to well, visit. Well, yeah, because so. he did that whole Britney Spears moment. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything I do, that's why you're stuck in that box. I'm nobody that you want to fuck with. I've been doing this for years. I'm on my grind, boy. You got your eyes on me. That's why you never shine, boy. I'm here sticking up the game like a crime, boy. Judging with the AK-47. Lyrically, uh -huh. when I spit this shit here differently Call me Walter White cause you won't catch me on no Disney I'm officially taking heads off, call it his <laughs> Walter White's Yeah, he's the lead character the Yeah, I did know the that guy. Yeah He's Zordon Zordon? Okay In the Power Rangers movie Oh, that's right I was like, wait, I know that name I was from gonna somewhere. say, Brian Cranston plays Zordon I'm tired <laughs> I also haven't seen the movie. Who knew Zordon lived in a trailer? Or RV? Winnebago. Oh, Winnebago. <laughs> <laughs> what a bango. All right. <laughs> the white cause you won't catch me on no Disney no, no, I'm Disney. officially taking heads off call it history the way you piss me off you might be on unsolved mysteries according to you that was a bar <laughs> that was a bar hold on call me Walter White cause you won't catch me on no Disney no, no, I'm Disney. officially taking heads off call it history the way you piss me I'm taking heads off call it history 
Yeah. But also his story. Yeah. Bars. I I, I really Bars. like X one. Huh? I liked the next one though. Uh-huh. <laughs> Me on no Disney. I'm officially taking heads off. Call it history. The way you piss me off, you might be an unsolved mysteries. According to you, I ain't. <laughs> she I won't like that, that episode. <laughs> I hate that show. She doesn't like mysteries to be unsolved. If you're gonna talk to her about it, it has to be finished. If you put that much time and research into it, you damn well better solve it. So here's my problem with unsolved mysteries. I actually love this show. I liked it until the last five minutes. But I liked it more when they focused more on the supernatural. Hmm. Because I'm cool all day with aliens not having a finished story. Right, because we don't have legit answers yet. Right. But no, there should never be a crime show. Except, well, no, I can't say that either because some people really like that shit and that type of shit has helped solve crimes. Well, yeah, but don't make season after season. <laughs> I mean... Give us at least one feel-good story, dude. I want... I just sounded country as fuck. Feel good. Yeah, I... <laughs> I want the ones that have the updates at the end. Right. You know, put out put out the unsolved mystery, get the info that you need by putting it out there, and then put the update. Don't leave me hanging. We're also cool if you just put out. I mean, oh, I'm sorry. Different conversation. <laughs> Different subjects. The way you piss me off, you might be an unsolved mysteries. According to you, I ain't shit in the booth. But that's your insecurities. That means you hide from the truth. I'm about to stick up the game with a mic in a booth. Have your head doing 360s like actresses moves. Hypothetically, every one of you are dead to me. I'm sick. All right, Regan. Where's my thing? <laughs> Need an old priest and a new priest. Red please, a red priest and a blue priest. <laughs> I'm not gonna I lie. I want to hear Doctor I... Seuss does the Exorcist now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the Exorcist as a movie. I that don't either. Yeah. I, uh, there are so many better, I, I, and may, it, maybe it's just the times and the graphics and things like that. I don't fucking know, but there are so I many better it, like, possession movies now. As a kid, though. And now, a I lot of people are always like, it's like the scariest movie I've ever seen. I'm like, dude, I sleep to that shit. Like, I find it amusing. And that's, although, the, it's time, that's the times that I'm not bored through it. Your mother sucks cocks in hell. That's, I, like exactly. I said, I find parts of it amusing. And the other parts I just find boring. The line was fantastic, though. Mm-hmm. 360. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's an iconic movie. It is. And I'll it, never take that away from it. No. But it's right up there with Night of the Living Dead in terms of iconic yet boring as fuck to watch. Very true. Like actresses moves hypothetically. Every one of you are dead to me. I'm sick of weak rappers always thinking of the pedigree yeah. until I hit them with the DDT and this ain't pedigree bar. <laughs> so the pedigree is Triple H's finishing move in wrestling. Uh and if you look in the video, Rev's doing he's this. He's doing that, yeah. Which is DX yeah. a suck it, and Triple H was one of the two yep. leaders no, of I DX. No, I remember that. So that's... And he says something about DDT, which is another wrestler. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Rev. I needed that. Of weak rappers always thinking of the pedigree yeah. until I hit them with the DDT and this ain't wrestling. I'm talking about immaturity. It's the special. Yeah. Realistically, you could never get rid of me. Never. I'm differently. I'll leave a big impact upon your energy. My versatility, overcoming all insecurities. Yeah. You're at a disadvantage when facing my inferiorities. Yeah. I stay riding, riding. Never, ducking. never ducking. I put in work, talk shit. You got no substance. No substance. You hate on everything I do. That's why you're stuck. I'm 
Sounds like kinetic feeling withdrawals. Handshaking man. At this point in the video, <laughs> I had messaged somebody needs to come to HD School of Torture. Because he's got way too much wiggle room. Right. This is how. This is how people get away. Plots move along. Yeah. <laughs> this is how you end up with a chase scene. The good news is, he's not a big, or breasted, a beautiful blonde. Meaning so he won't he probably might, trip in the forest. Might make it. Yeah. He probably won't trip in the forest. Bear trap. Right. lines like kinetic filling withdrawals. Handshaking man, I swear to god I drop my wrist off. Pick it back up, make a fist and knock your head off. How you sleeping, man? I'm always in your face, dog. I ain't playing with you motherfuckers no more. Every time I hop up in the booth, it's like war. Bitch, I'm in the paint with the post moves. Toss me the rock. I come to show you. Up the fire like two straps Talking about nines, I ain't talking about backpacks Have you rappers playing so I had to come hijack half assing verses like the shit was on road back Picking up a pin, you getting bullied on the track Man, I come with metaphors and the smarts that they lack Better put me with the illest of the spitters on the track Cause I'm revving up on them till they hear me in the back Okay So that's that the first that's, a, that's first time we've ever heard him. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. I, I did like the first part, the fiending for the lines. Um, you know, the pen. Although, I have to say, if you're trying to write lines, you know, you might want to calm those jitters. You see him toss the pen at one point. That might have been a good lockpick. <laughs> right. I'm just saying. No, that was actually pretty good. I liked his rollback line. Right. <laughs> um, and I absolutely love the undercover prodigy hat. Half-ass versus like it's rollback. You getting your features at Walmart? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so I can afford. I like Walmart. Listen, Walmart here. has good shirts. Listen here. <laughs> Anyways, till they hear me in the back. He escaped. I put in work, talk shit, you got no substance. You hate on everything I do, that's why you're stuck in that box. I'm nobody that you wanna fuck with. I've been doing this for years, I'm on my grind, boy. You got your eyes on me, that's why you never shine, boy. I'm here sticking up the game like a crime, boy. JJ with the AK 47, it's your time, boy. Blah! <laughs> That was fun. It definitely was. And I'm laughing or giggling because I can picture Rev doing all of those. Oh. Ad libs. Doing it doing the ad lib run. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's never gonna get old, dude. Never. never. <laughs> I have a mental picture that will not go away. Uh, but I will say this, I am too damn fucking old. To be dancing on top of a Winnebago for fucking anything. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's not happening. I remember getting up on top of the RV as a kid to get stuff down from, like, the luggage thing. No! Like, and I don't have a problem with heights. I do have a problem with not perfectly level surfaces that are slippery. And then being expected to actually do something up there. Not right. gonna happen. No. I'd look down at the camera and probably get dizzy. In abject fear. Yeah. As you petered over the edge. Somebody'd be like, dude, is that stage fright? Nah, motherfucker, I'm high as hell. No blunt. I'm high no, as hell. This just is bullshit. Yep. Vertically high. Yes. Hmm. Not cool. Hmm. I get <laughs> I get fucked up just looking down like five, six feet sometimes. That's I, I don't no. No. Mad props. Mad props, Rev. I, I, again, I don't have a height problem. Grew up climbing trees, walking on top of the monkey bars. Bullshit that you really shouldn't do. Kids, don't do that. But, dancing on top of a Winnebago, like I said, I was not even into getting up there as a 10, 
11 year old simply because it's slippery and also i will point out it's hot because they make the surface reflective to try and keep some of the heat from getting into the rv when you're out camping and you know the desert sun is beating down on you so standing up there is like standing on the surface of like a frying pan it's not fun okay don't be up there without shoes on I was wearing shoes yeah no I was wearing shoes it's just the way that it's it's built it's like tin foil I can't Rest screw my face at you anymore <clears throat> just because I'm a barefooted beauty no I was wearing shoes back then <laughs> for that purpose alone but I was wearing shoes <laughs> Um, no, it was a lot of fun. You guys did a good job. And, uh... Yeah, no, the production was great. Cinematography was great, other than the, the Little Heights fiasco. Um, and obviously not... Actually, it was fine for us, because we weren't up there with you. <laughs> we were looking Each up at you. for our own reasons, right? Right. Which, is, which I'm fine with. But I enjoyed it. Yeah. It was a good track. All right, guys. So with that being said... If you guys like the video, slash that like button, subscribe, <laughs> ring the bell for notifications, comment down below what did you think of T-Rev featuring JJ Hughes with Sticking Up the Game. Also comment down below if there's anything else you guys want to see reacted to, check the description below for all the things. Push our buttons, come join us on our other social media platforms, mostly Twitter if you want a quicker response. With that being said, we love you guys, thank you all for watching, cannot wait to see you to pray people later. <laughs>